Okay. What's going on, guys? This is Mike here from 91.5 WMF, your station, your music, of course. And it might not look like we're there, but we're at Kabeg Festival right now over in Benga, Benga, Maine. And we're here with Jacob from the House of Fire. How are you guys doing today? Good. 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 Now, is this your first time playing around Bangor? No. This will be our first show in Bangor, yes. First show in Bangor? Nice. Quite the place to do it, too. Um, so, obviously, you guys have been in other side projects. This isn't the first band that you guys have been in. What other bands have you been a part of? Uh, well, for this band, I mean, uh, I guess list off some bands, I guess. Yeah. There's plenty of them. Jacob of Fire is more than just us, too. five-year-old in Maine hasn't rocked out to Rick Charette right. really now. But anyways, uh, you also have an album that you guys have been working on recently titled Frontier. How is that coming along? Uh, the album's mixed. Uh, we are awaiting release. We're going through some things right now and if everything works out we should be releasing it before the year is over. Awesome. Awesome. Definitely. Um, another question that I have is the Facebook group, the Kabang Music and Arts Festival Facebook group, they've had a little fun with this idea and uh, what they've been asking is what word or object do you think of when you hear Kabang? I was kind of hoping we get more questions um, about the issues in the world. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. 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 What do you, do you have any like, sound like, because we're kind of a, we're kind of here for a purpose and we need some questions about Absolutely. We like the Kabang Festival. Absolutely. I mean, like, hardcore questions. Like that. Absolutely. We're not shy. No, we're not shy. You're not I mean, shy? You can go right for the heavy stuff. What, what, do, what do you What do you think about that. all this bullshit media about Lindsay Lohan? What the hell is up with that? <laughs> That's not a major issue. Why is everyone covering that? If you're following that, then you got to know. I mean, it's pretty bullshit. Like, yeah. Lindsay Lohan, I mean, I think there's a little bit more important things. BP, maybe? Yeah, BP is a good subject. Yeah. Subject mark. Yeah, definitely. BP is definitely something that not people don't talk about anymore. I mean, got swept under the rug, man. Like yeah. Anything else? You know? Really, it, that's really too bad about that. It's the. Uh, it seems to be the American way, or at least the the rich people of America's way. Just took everything under the rug. Yeah. I mean, we're a country that is sending our youth over to fight. How long has it been? It's years. We're all going on ten years. years. Going on ten it's years. It's been almost as long as, if not longer, than yeah. Vietnam. So yeah, it's, it'll be longer than Vietnam. Yeah, it's pretty sad about that. And I mean, you hear all these politicians saying we're going to be pulling out soon. We're going to be pulling out soon. But I 
really don't see how that's intentional. Yeah. It never was an intention. I don't think it's any intentional. Yeah, I think it's just a way to get people to just hush hush and be quiet now. Yeah, I mean, it's a small it's a small problem right now in our country. Absolutely. It's the media the media is you mentioned it's low end. It, 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 it's a joke, but in reality we're paying right. way too much attention. It's it's yeah, the facts. Yeah. They feed, uh, it's pretty sad that most people, my age at least, all they talk about is what's going on with Lindsay Lohan. Really you know, the, the sad thing is that people that are twice your age next to are still doing it. Yeah, exactly. That's I think that's one of the biggest problems. It's just it's just uh, I think if everyone would just take their television and uh, throw it out of the window, they'd probably be a lot better off. I mean. Start thinking locally. I think that's probably where a lot of change would happen. Absolutely. I mean, we're living in a country that's run by five percent. Yeah, five percent. About five percent. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it goes back to Rockefeller. It goes back to it's been going on for a very long time. Yeah. They're going to continue to sweep under the rug unless people take action. And that is what we try to do as a band. We're not just here to play tunes and shake our ass. We're here to right. wake people the fuck up. I know this has been a, also a big issue around the music industry for a while, but what do you think about illegal music downloading? I'm not a big fan of it personally. Uh, I mean, I think it's uh, illegal music downloading has pros and cons. I mean, it's, it's inevitable. There's really nothing you can do about it anymore. Yeah. I mean, people are going to, I mean, you're gonna, I mean, it makes you some poor woman from Oklahoma who's downloaded 500 records, but really, yeah. that, what is it going to do? It doesn't do anything. I think, uh, I honestly think that if, music, if musicians are making music for the right reasons, they should be more than willing to give anything they have away. You know what I mean? If you want to pay, if you want to pay a little money to come see a show and get a live experience, you know what I mean? You know, we can take on that, and if we have to, we're happy to do that. Absolutely. You know, as long as it gets to people's ears, that's the number one thing. You know, I could live in, a, could live in a gutter, and if a million people in the world know what we're trying to say right now, then I'll, I'll eat bread and I'll eat dinner and jelly sandwiches for the rest of my life. Ramen every day. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. But, but that's uh, what's most important. I mean, a lot of. A lot of the people I've talked kind of want to bitch about people stealing their music, but really, I mean, music's not. Music is is a business to music, but it all boils down to music is music in this universal language. And, you, know, you start putting a price on it, I mean, that's one thing. You start complaining that someone someone's into your music and they're taking it instead of instead of buying it. I mean, yeah. obviously, you want them to buy it, and if they can buy it, great. But if you know, I mean, some people don't make enough money to buy anything. Right. You know, they're just worried about paying bills, like myself. I mean, I'm not much different. From you know, we're not, none of us are much different than anything. So, exactly. You know, if you can afford to buy our records and you can find a way to rip it online or you burn friend, it from yeah, a friend, friend burns it for you, yeah. do it. Yeah. Do it. You know, we just hope to see you at a show and hope to see you supporting what's going on and you know, being aware of what's going on. Absolutely. And another topic that I know that's big around, at least at WMF and the Farmington campus, is medical marijuana. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think about that? Hundred percent for it. I am too, absolutely. I think more people need to jump on the bandwagon when it comes to that. So I'm overall 100% for the legalization of marijuana. It, it's sad yeah. how the whole thing goes down, and it started with prohibition, and yeah. you know, it's just it's so sad, you know, how they can try to push something like that down. I mean, hemp alone, the, the materials you can get out of hemp, clothing, books, recycled. I mean, it's, just, it's so stupid. The yeah. government is so stupid. It's not really harmful either, if you really think about it. It's not really that harmful to your mind. I mean. 
if anything, tobacco is... Yeah, tobacco is way worse. Tobacco, yeah, tobacco is, I mean, alcohol, alcohol. pick your poison, yeah. that blanket in, whatever the hell they're cooking even, up. Even if you think about it, game kids Because they can't pay attention because they're bored and they don't have good teachers, you know? Let's pump them full of pills, you know what I mean? I mean, they want to they want to take things down like med medical marijuana because they want to take down the farmer like they've always wanted to take down the farmer. They don't want well, the working man. Well, it's a huge system too where there are people are getting paid to, to regulate it. So if you take out this whole regulating system, that's like fucking like 80, you know, government workers and one, you know, that are going to lose their jobs. Yeah. They can't, yeah. They're not going to cut these people out. They'll, 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 they'll the lose government. the big money so the, so the, so the working class yeah. can, can, you know. So it needs it needs to thrive the way it is. It sets it, up that way. So we set it up. Yeah. Another topic that I know a lot of people have been in an uproar in the past year is universal health care. What do you think about? Possibly, I mean, other countries have established that over in the UK, France. Do you think it's going to be effective when it goes into effect in the United States? I mean, it's part of the socialism agenda, right? I mean, that's what they think that the United States is trying to push for this socialism and. I mean, socialism really isn't that bad when you look at it, right? You know, and uh, so you wonder how much you know that's being pushed. I mean, Canada's. I mean, they pay a lot of taxes, but they're also not as you know trillions of dollars involved in Iraq. You know, they're also a more of a peaceful country than we are. Yeah. You know, um, why can't we be like that? You know, I totally agree. So I'm not. I'm not gonna. You know, I, I, it's hard to deny something where you know, it all boils down to. I mean, the reason why universal healthcare is such a problem and why. It can't come into fruition is because the insurance right. companies are buying everybody up. Exactly. I mean, that's really like what money, money and power. Yeah. Money and power. Yeah. yeah. It's all about I love the drug companies, the insurance companies. God bless them all. Yeah, exactly. So, what are any other upcoming shows or projects you guys would like to talk about to our listeners? Look at the show at Space Gallery. Yeah, Space Gallery on the 29th, we're playing at uh, Wooden Birds and Dan Manigan. Yeah. Um, that's the 29th, we get there early, it's an early show, it's going to be a really good show, all, all the bands involved are phenomenal. Yeah. Um, we'd like to give a shout out to, who else can we talk I mean, dogandpony.net, check out dogandpony.net, they are, uh, when it comes to, you know, main music in general, if you want to find out what the, what the cream of the crop is around here, go to dogandpony.net and start checking out some of their videos. Uh, Jacob Baddock and Friends, Layla and the Beekeeper. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. This, this state is very privileged and blessed to have some of the music that it does, and a lot of people don't know that it exists. And I think dogandpony.net would be a good place to start looking if you're curious. Yeah, definitely. I think local music is very important in the state of Maine, and I think college radio really helps out with that also. You know? Absolutely. Um, if you want to check out Jacob in the House of Fire some more, you can go to www.myspace.com slash Jacob Augustine. That's where you can find a lot of their upcoming shows and music and any other bio that you would like to know about the band. I'd like to thank you guys for, for the interview. Take yeah, it easy. Thank you. And you'll hear more from me later on.